Uh, Welcome to Orbit Kager, I'm Rob. I'm Tanner. And today we are reviewing Holland 1839. This is another one of those fancy beers from Aldi. Fancy beers. Uh, so it's imported from Holland. It has a 5% alcohol by volume. There is 11.2 fluid ounces in this bottle. Okay. Which is... Good to know. Strange that it's not a 12 ounce bottle. <laughs> it's very weird. Actually, uh, this beer has been around for a long time. It's not just a... Holland Lager 1839. Nearly 175 years of brewing perfection. Only the finest premium ingredients go into creating this special lager. Brewed using centuries old techniques to produce the finest lager for your enjoyment. From our home to yours. Brust! Cheers. <laughs> oh, I have a lot more than you, which uh, looks, is not purposeful. It looks like a lager, high carbonation. It looks like uh, it looks like any other very little lager icing. ever. Oh, it smells like cat piss <laughs> a little bit, which means it's going to be a tasty lager because of, Heineken also smells like cat piss. Yeah, I think Heineken is the best of the lager beers. Do you have a story about Heineken? I do. Okay, so I, as a young man, and I've probably put this in videos before, but I'll say it again, I really wanted to like beer. And a part of that was me trying a lot of beers. Well, um, when I was in uh, school, college, rather. No, um, are, you, are you talking about when you experimented with those group of guys? No, 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 no. When I was in school, I had a lot of friends from the Philippines, and they were huge Heineken drinkers. So I drank a lot of Heineken, played a lot of pool, ate a lot of spring rolls. Wait, wait. So you did experiment with a group of guys? When it comes to Heineken and pool, crazy good pool players. Yeah, they, it's not they surprising. Were, they were sharks. It's not surprising. You're I terrible guess, at pools. So. No, no, no. I guess in the Philippines, like, karaoke... Pool halls and uh, living in mom's basement and bowling is really big. And living in mom's basement, I know a lot of Filipino guys that I used to work with who lived exclusively in their mother's basements until they moved to the United States because their parents kicked them out. Actually, I know twenty-five guys that did that. You don't know twenty-five. I really do. Anyway, that's weird. Don't Country listen, clubs. Don't listen to anything he says. This guy, this guy experiments with a group of guys and tells you not to listen to anything I say. Well. Well, it's weedy. It's weedy. A little corn. It's you weedy. Get that corn. I, get, I mean, if it's like corn that has gone bad. I uh, wouldn't know, like hominy almost. More than corn on the. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, I get that. Yeah. Wow, that is not great. Funny story, though, this turned out really well that in is, uh, my chili. That is. Uh, really? I would this consider this a trailer beer. I don't know, man. Give me a Coors any time. Give me a Paps any time over this. I I'm sorry, not. did you just say that you would want a Paps over this? I, d I do not like this. This is not... Um... Well, I say take another drink. Maybe you will. I'll try again. More of the same. It starts off... Now, I will say, it starts off very thin. Um, you get kind of a wheat taste. It tastes like a very traditional lager. And you think for a second, hey, this is going to be okay. And then you get hit with this weird, bitter, bitter, hominy kind of... I mean, I'm not going to lie. This was the only beer I had. I would drink it. But, uh... And when you say only beer you had, what do you mean by that? Like, like I have no other beer in the house, and I don't really feel like going and getting more. But you really want a beer. Like, you right. really, really want a beer. I just, I would enjoy the pleasure a, of a beer in my mouth. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much do you need to want that beer to go to this, though? Probably a 2. Because for me, it's like an 8. No, I, do not, Tanner, I, I, I know you. You're an alcoholic. Do you, not you like go this. For no, go to liquor. Why do I? I got a whole liquor cabinet. I have a very impressive. That's because of your stupid budget booze. If you guys want to see an interesting video, we can take a tour of my liquor cabinet sometime. I've got some real fun stuff in there. Yeah. What about your sex dungeon? Real fun stuff in there. Comment below. <laughs> His red room, if you will. I'll give this a one. I do not like this hmm. at all. I'm gonna give it like a two. I, I would. Uh, you know what it reminds me of? What does it remind you of? It reminds me of a Grolsch that's been skunked. It does have a skunky quality to it, but the thing is, is it's putting itself out there as kind of a Heineken style beer, and uh, a Heineken, there's a beer called Balashi, which is made um, in Holland, uh, I drank a lot of it in Aruba, it is as close to Heineken as you can get with actually, not actually being Heineken. Then you got a Stella, 
Then you got then a Peroni. Stella, and then I got put Peroni in there. And then um, then you got Grolsch. Actually, Grolsch would be at the top for me. I actually fucking love Grolsch. Take Grolsch out of that out of that tier. And then we're going to put that this beer right about there on the ground. Because I do not like it. I, I give it like a 0.5. I don't, I don't like this. Huh. Cheers. Cheers. I did not know where he was going with that. What do you give it? You gotta read it. I did. I told you I'd, I'd give it a two. Oh, okay. There you go. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dorver Cake shenanigans. And if you stop, you rated it twice, by the way. Did I? I'm gonna give it a one. I'm gonna give it a point five. That shows you how much this is hurting my soul. I do not like this beer. Uh, but uh, check out all of our videos. We got a lot of stuff out there. We've got, <laughs> there's uh, things. There's stuff. We got stuff. We got beer reviews. We got budget bougie reviews. We got cooking cigar videos. Reviews. We, we got, got rants. rants. We got uh, cigar videos. Sh we got shenanigans. Uh, mixology videos. A lot videos. of stuff coming up. And uh, actually, uh, got some big news coming up. So uh, stay tuned. Anyway, just a little nugget, man. You gotta give them a little nugget. You gotta sprinkle it. What's little... our big news? Oh, I'm not telling you yet. We're gonna do a special. You're video. not telling me yet. Yeah, you know what it is. We're gonna do a special video after this one. Dude, I am not pulling my pants down. Stay with me. Is it only for Patreon? I do it for the patrons. Listen, listen. You just look at the camera, and you give me that look I told you about. <laughs> no, not the scared one. <laughs>